Hello everyone, it is Riley Plank from Team Ariana and I'm here hanging out with Rob from Front Row Live and I'm very excited for us to talk about all things The Voice. <laughs> Riley, I keep getting even more excited with, with your performances, your vocals every time that you are performing this season of The Voice. And this knockout was insane. Um, last time I told you that your runs are incredible. And now, like, you not only are they incredible, but you keep doing something different with them. Like, it's never the same kind of runs that, that we hear from you. Uh, so how do you keep keeping it how do you continue to keep it fresh gosh that's a really great question and i think it sort of ties back to the um the range of influences i have i think it's i kind of find what i feel is appropriate and also what feels the most me for the song i'm singing and for this song specifically it's kind of in the same vein of the music that i make personally and um i mean in the same vein as my original music at least and um I think that made it sort of easy to infuse it with the um, accents I add to my own music because it was it felt right, if that makes sense. And um, so, you know, soul and pop mixed in with a little bit of rock and edge. And um, I think it's just kind of picking and choosing the moments for that each specific song that is really important to me. So I spent a lot of time doing that. And I think this one gave me like, the optimal opportunity because I got to not only infuse it with like musical aspects, vocal aspects that I love to do, but also the influences I put into the music that it stands behind me when I do my own original music. You could say the same thing about performance. I feel like this song helped you be able to showcase what you are like as a performer, not just a vocalist. And you were able to do that with this track. Um, talk to me a little bit about like, again what made it different this time around during the rehearsals now you have ed sheeran like helping you guys out during the knockouts like that i mean ariana and ed in the same room that must be like super nerve-wracking it was so fun actually it was i had the best partner he made it such a breeze to enjoy yourself during this time he's such a sweetie pie and um what made it so magical for me being with Ed was obviously he's incredible and insane and so memorable. But I was talking with David right before we went on and he was like, if it's, we were trying to guess who it was. And David was like, if it's Ed Sheeran, I think I might die because he's like my idol. So when I saw Ed, um, David walked in first, I just grabbed him and I started shaking him. It was such a beautiful moment to be a part of because I knew how important it was for David too. And it was just so wonderful. And I think that sort of energy that David and I have together as friends um, really informed the relaxed and comforting sort of energy in the room when we were doing our rehearsal with Ed and Ariana. And it was just so fun. Um, I, I just really had a blast. We had great conversations and really random conversations. And it was, it was comfortable. It felt like you were just hanging out with two other friends and it was a blast. That's part of being a pop star and being such a major artist. Like uh, you feel the same way. Like it's it's not you being a fan anymore. You're like, I belong here. And I feel like that's what, <laughs> I feel like that's why you felt the way that you did. Um, oh God, that's such a <laughs> nice thing to say. I, it just like, you can't help but feel welcome around people like them, around people mm. like Ariana and Ed and David. They just make you feel so, like they welcome you with open arms. And I think that's something that is so crucial to this process too, because how intense it can be when you have elimination on the line or, you know, all of the other aspects that go into it being made comfortable is like such an important thing. And they are masters at doing that. So I am really grateful for that. I know last time you were saying that makeup is also a big part of, of your life. Um, but, you know, with these performances, you actually get to, like, wear these amazing outfits as well. Um, how important do you feel like these outfits are to your performances? Oh, my gosh. I feel like they're so important. It may be so silly, but with this performance specifically, I really felt like the outfit sort of had 
the essence of Fleetwood in it, which I think was really cool for this song specifically because it has Edge of Seventeen influences and moments in it. And so that was something that I was like, oh my gosh, this is the outfit. It needs to happen. Like, please, please, please. Because it just, and it felt so good to wear. You know, I think that's what's really important is being in something that makes you feel good. And that sort of can inform the energy and excitement you have for the performance, you know, because if you feel good, you, you do good. I mean, more, hopefully more likely than not. And, um, I think that I just, I love the outfits I've been in so far. The wardrobe department is insane. And, um, I love doing my makeup to complement those looks. And it's just, it's been so fun to experiment with these outfits and with my makeup, um, along like sort of with the influence of the song in mind. I don't know. It's, it's kind of strange, but it's been so fun. <laughs> now, lastly, what can we look forward to on these lives? These lives are right around the corner. Um, and I'm sure you've been waiting for this to finally happen. So <laughs> yes. what, I mean, what can we look forward to as far as like, will you be stepping out of your comfort zone more than you already have? Like, uh, do you have outfits in mind? Like what's going on? Gosh. Um, hmm. What can I say that works? without, yeah, exactly. Without <laughs> like, giving us everything. Um, I think that the, the performance coming up is going to be one of the most me performances I've done so far on the show. Um, and I think that, I don't know. I really hope that I can pull it off and that people really just see all of the influences I have and how important they are to me. And, and that they think I do them justice. And I'm really looking forward to it. And the performance in particular is, I mean, all of them have been so exciting and they all have such a special place in my heart. But I, this one is a challenge and I'm really up to it. And I'm very excited to do it. And I hope that I do it well. <laughs> it was a very prolonged answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you will I do it well. <laughs> Thank you. I think this is just going to, this is what I feel like I love to do is this type of thing. And I'm really excited to show the world that. <laughs> now, one thing that I would love to see from you during these live performances is an original song. I Ooh. think Ooh. that would be nerve wracking, of course, but I feel <laughs> like the world needs to get to know who mm -hmm. Riley really is with her own music, her own lyrics. Yeah. And hopefully that's something that we can uh that you could make happen so i, I don't know to. i don't I know what to, the criteria would be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly who Come do on. i have to call we need a petition. We need a petition. <laughs> yes i i would love to and it would actually be like it would be sort of life-changing in numerous ways to be able to do that because i haven't actually performed my original music live yet because of the so being able to do that would also be such a blessing in so many different ways in the ways that you listed and in the sense that like I would be stepping out into a new me in a sense because I haven't sang those songs yet um per like in person and I think wow yeah that's a great recommendation I think I will I'll try my best to see if we can make it happen I would love to I would have such a blast doing it and I really appreciate that you think my original music is good enough to put on a national stage. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to more uh, with you. Like I said, unfortunately, I won't be here for the first week of the lives, but I will definitely catch up with you again. And yes. uh, best of luck. Congratulations. I'm rooting for you. And uh, get ready for the finale because I think you have it. I'm going to try. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. You're too sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have so much fun every time. I can't wait to come back. I'm manifesting it already. Good, <laughs> good, same. <laughs> <laughs> good, we're on the same page.